Hey, it's me, Cousin Kua, and I'm going to be trying something a little bit different today. Today, I'm going to be trying a review of one of my favorite games. The game being Ninja Gaiden Black. Um, the story... I'm just going to get right into it. The story is very, very cliched, and... Who, who plays an Ninja Gaiden game for the story? Um... Basically, the story is Ryu Hayabusa uh, gets the Dragon Sword from his father, who passes it down. Um, it starts off in the training level in the Ninja Fortress. Um, it's you basically go through the level to find the main, the boss of that level, Murai. Um after you defeat him, you just realize that it was a whole sparring match and they've been friends for years. Um, after that, you go on to the um, High Booster Village after it has been destroyed. Um, at which point, Doku, one of the main um, villains of the game, takes the Dark Dragon Blade and kills you. After somehow magically being revived, you start the third level in the airship. And basically, your goal from then on is to get to Taiwan, the city, find the Dark Dragon Blade, and bring it back. Or destroy it. Um, the gameplay is fun. It's fast paced, it's action -y. Yes, that's a word, I made it up. Um, you basically block with the air trigger, um, slash with X, you also do a strong attack with Y, you also charge, hold the Y button, and it will charge up ultimate techniques which you could then use to basically annihilate an enemy, and you can charge those up faster by collecting the souls of enemies you've already killed. Um, like I said, it's a very fast paced game. Um, it's one you're going to want to replay a lot. Um, also, the graphics are amazing. Um, it still looks amazingly good today with the 360 being out. Um, I don't see many textures mess up, but um, I don't really pay attention to graphics, as you can tell if you've watched any of my other rants. Um, another great thing about that game is it's Nimpo attacks. That's another key point in the game where you can find scrolls that can give you Nimpo which is basically your magic. Um, there's four Nimpo. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what they're called. Uh, I can't remember the first one because I never used... Oh, the f uh, fire wheel? Which basically has two fireballs following around you um, for a set time killing any and well hurting any enemy that gets past you you probably will never use that the second one you get is the uh, out of inferno attack well you press Y and B to put the nimpo on to start the nimpo and um, a huge file engulfs the area around you and he forms a fireball in his hand and shoots it out at um, a desig at a random target. You can't really tell him where you're getting hit, which is the one gripe I have with that attack. If you're fighting a boss and he has minions, um, chances are it could hit that minion instead of the boss. And he basically wasted an info. Um, the second one is out of I can't remember what it's called exactly. But it's the ice attack. Um, basically, does the same thing as Inferno, except it's ice and ice shards attack the enemies. I have never personally used that because it does little to no damage when you could easily just use Inferno. Um, it doesn't have that one attack where it annihilates an enemy either. It doesn't have that fireball thing. So it's just an area effect. And the next one, the Ult of Inazuma which is a, the lightning attack, is a way better area effect than that. Um, 
basically what he does then is he charges up his the energy in his body and shoots out lightning. It's a ninja game. Doesn't have to make sense. At least what I've heard, that's what happens. Um, he charges up the bioelectrical energy in his body. Bioelectric. I don't know. Um, going on to the weapons in the game, you have the Dragon Sword, you have the Luna, which was Ninja Gaiden Black exclusive. Um, you have the Golian Flares, the Warhammer, the different type type of arrows. You have explosive and um, I forgot what the A F S P D E S. It uh, um uh, armor piercing basically. Um, you use those very well against one of the bosses in Chapter Seven, the military level. Um, the bosses again. The bosses um, aren't really that original, but they also each take a strategy at some points. Um, after you get a certain attack, you really don't have to have a strategy, but there are all a couple bosses that a strategy and a ton of healing items will work on. But for the most part, most of the bosses, you just have to kill with a flying swallow attack and be stocked up on healing items. Um, I'm trying to think about what to talk about next. Um, I guess we can talk about the characters. There aren't many main, main characters. You only meet Murai, the first boss, and the, the, uh, basically when you talk to him, there's Ayane, which really shows up every once in a while. See those two uh, see those, um, leaves at you. Well, not leaves, but it's like, ninja, those, see those, um, kunai into walls, and they have notes on them. And it's basically your hints. Um, she also comes in about a couple of the cutscenes. I think she talks, like, twice? Yeah, she talks in two cutscenes. Not counting the one where she says one line. Um, and one of the main talking characters would be Rachel, who they give her uh, her own levels in Sigma, but other than that, you really don't know what she does the whole game, and she's really just a pain. I never liked her, but you do get her weapon later on, which isn't good anyways. Um, also... I don't remember. Um, like I said, this is my first review. But I think that's basically all I covered. I mean, all I, that needs to be covered. It's a good game. You could probably find it for ten bucks nowadays. Um, try to find Ninja Gaiden Black if you have to find the first one. I will say it's a lot harder than NGB. Ninja Gaiden Black is a lot easier, and it even has the Ninja Dog difficulty, which wasn't in the first one. Um, but if you can't find either Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden Black, get the Sigma version. It's basically the same game. But out of the three versions that they made, I will say Ninja Gaiden Black is the best. It, it felt more balanced. And I think Sigma was just made to give the PSD or something. But um, that's about it. Uh, I am Ryu Kazakura, and this was my first review. Tell me what you think about it. If you think I should just stick to Vance, tell me that, and I won't do any more. Talk to you. Out.